I just wish I could turn back the clock. It looks old and run down now, but for 12 years, this home at the corner of North 9th and Columbia in Newark was the Moran family home, a home which saw the Morans through good times and bad. My husband and I, um, um, we had, um, he had uh, lost his job because he had a um, brain tumor. And he had several brain tumor or surgeries. He had like four. Um, he had a bad case of MRSA from the last brain surgery. Um, six weeks of radiation. I've had several surgeries. And my daughter's um, had two kidney surgeries because she only has one kidney. So she's gone through a lot of doctor visits at Children's Hospital. Because of all the medical bills, the Morans could no longer pay the mortgage on their home. Across the street from a park, the home that the Morans considered a good place to raise a family was now slipping away. It was um, actually um, our first home that um, my husband and I had owned, actually, with, without each other. Um, my um, littlest, my stepdaughter, Ashley, That's the only one she knows. Desperate to save her home, Moran says she tried to find help. That's when she called a phone number she saw in the paper, and this man, Harry Blousey, came to her door. Moran says he looked like a sweet old man. At first I was really nervous because, you know, it just sounded like too good to be true because I was um, struggling for a long time to get help. Um, but I seeing that he was a local man. He actually lived over by a lot of my friends on Londondale. Um, I had a paper where he it said he worked with Remax. Um, his wife worked at a, a school that I knew that my kids went to. So I didn't think that someone with that kind of background would actually do this kind of thing to me. He would get you to deed your property to him. Uh, he would then tell you to leave, usually, and rent it out to a third party, uh, collect the rent, and then hopefully once, he would say he would help with the foreclosure case, but he wouldn't, so the home would go into foreclosure, they would lose, um, and then he would try to purchase the home at the sheriff's sale, which is then at a discounted rate. Uh, with this one specifically, Miss Moran, uh, she was renting her own home from this guy. So she deeded the property over to him, and then he started charging her rent to stay there. In the meantime, he didn't do anything, and the home went into foreclosure. He even um, at one time and said, you've been through a lot, and, you've, and you just look like you need a hug. <laughs> so he hugged me before he left, and he repeated himself saying he was going, he was going to help. You know, I've, I know you've done this for a long time by yourself, but I'm here to help you. Blousey was convicted on 13 counts of theft by deception and 13 counts of securing writings by deception. He's serving a four and a half year prison term for scamming many different homeowners in Newark. The Morans ended up losing their home and having to move out. It was really hard um, when we first originally did it. But um, since then, the stress level has gone way down because we're in a really nice home with a really wonderful landlady. Um, she knows everything that we've gone through and, and um, she actually sent us a Christmas card. Even though the Morans are putting their life back together, what happened at this home has shaken Melissa Moran's ability to trust and she doesn't know if she'll be able to ever again. Maybe someday. Um, um, right now, I'm not real trustworthy, uh, trusting, but um, I'm trying. <laughs>